and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Houston Astros. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us here. And as we get set for Game 5, Chris, it seems like this series could still have a few twists and turns in it. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do-or-die game is no exaggeration. But these situations tell us a lot about a team's character. And for some teams, it brings out their absolute best. But for others, it can kind of prove to be an overwhelming scenario to face. And so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side. Some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Starting on the mound in this one, Hunter Brown. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Well, you don't always know what to expect with this guy on the mound to start the game. He can be really good at times and turn in some real excellent efforts. For me, it'll tell us a lot to see how he's attacking the strike zone and pitching aggressively or not. If he's doing that from the jump, I think he'll be fine in this one. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. The one one is fouled off. That one drifts inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That misses the zone. Ball three. The pitch. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Tucker makes the grab, and there's two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Austin Riley digs in now. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning in order go the Braves now here come the Astros no score you're watching the World Series on the show yeah Boogie had the swing and miss stuff working last time out had 10 punch outs so much fun to watch that's if you're on the defensive side not as a hitter we'll see today if he can bring the same type of result and he's down 0-2 okay. as he swings through it Just misses the mark outside the zone. One and two now. Altuve waits. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And down on strikes he goes. One away. Here's Luis Guillorme. That one pushed to the left and foul. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground, right side. All these. Whips it to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Ground ball, right side. Olsen takes it himself and that'll do it back here at Minute Maid Park top of the second here's Matt Olsen Brown back to work not ball, close with that one and that is ball one a little out front there as he swings through it packed house here at Minute Maid the one one Right side, hard hit. Gets it to first, and quickly one away in the second. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Center field. 
He's got it. And there's two away. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Travis Dardo stands in with two away as he takes a ball. A swing and a miss, one and, and one. that's strike one. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. And that's the inning. Offense held it. Bottom half of inning number two. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Brian Reynolds. Yeehaw. That's in there. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Right back to him on the mound. On to first. And a quick out number one. Here's Kyle Tucker. He swings and fouls one off. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Pitch misses. And the count is one and one. One, one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, and that's a double. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. That's it out. Yoan Moncada with a chance to hit. First offering, and it just misses. Tucker at second with two down. Lined, and that's a base hit. Now a long throw home. Tag, not in time. He scores, and it's 1-0. Picks himself up in RBI. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's Corey Lee. First pitch doesn't no, find the side. zone. Ball. To third. What a stop. Over to first. Nicely done for the out. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. New inning getting started, and now the right fielder, Luis Gonzalez. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Brown, in his second season, 25 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2019. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. I think he was a little excited there, saw the fastball, but needed a stepladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now the left fielder, Justin Dean. Swings and misses. It's 0 1. Now 1 and 1. 1 and 1. One down, base is empty. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Next pitch in for a strike, two and two now. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Next pitch has popped up. And there are two down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Set for the bottom of the third, and stepping in for the Astros, Yainer Diaz. And first offering is fouled off. Diaz measures six feet even, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And he hits a ground ball right side, and foul ball. Got him swinging. 
Finished him off by blowing it by him up high, but they did a really nice job of setting that pitch up. The plan of attack early on was to keep everything down around the knees, so that was a good call to change his eye level and run it by him for the K. Strike two. And that one off the outside edge. The pitch. Goku. Just off the inside edge. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0 2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. And there's a foul ball. Altuve leads off first with one away. Runner goes again. Pitches high. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Got him. And the struggles continue in the postseason. Alvarez batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Next offering is down low. Just missed. And strike two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Arcia whips it to first, and that ends the. As we go to the top of the fourth, here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Swing and a miss, and it's 0 and 1. And that one is inside. The 1-1. One, one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The 1-2. Stays alive. Next one just nope. misses. 2-2. Two 2-2. And two. Two and two. And now it's filled up. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. And that is cut out and missed. Going on. Well, right now, this battery is seeing the aggressiveness of the hitters early in the count and often. So, got to be real careful that you don't give too good of a pitch, especially early in the count. And yeah, the righty deals. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 0 2. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. The Braves still looking for their first hit in this one. In the dirt, Lee whips it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Here's Austin Riley. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it on the run, sends it over to first, and that will end the inning. And the Braves back here in Houston, bottom of the fourth. Brian Reynolds here in there at the knees. That's strike one on the ground, and that's just foul. The pitch. 
smoke to right, but he's got it. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing yeah. to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. There goes Tucker. Out to short. Arcia. Slings it across. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. And now Yohan Moncada. In there for strike one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Towards first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And welcome back. And now, Matt Olson. Brown back to work. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Alvarez puts it away, and there's one away. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. First offering misses the mark. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. Next offering that's misses. Down, two ball. and one. And a good eye there. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. On the ground to short. Guillaume on the run. Throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Flight out to center in his first at bat. Little chopper rolls foul. The 0 1. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one is off the wall. Now in for the Braves, Luis Gonzalez went down on strikes his first time through. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Justin, so now. Pinch hitter for Atlanta, Eddie Rosario, looking for a big hit with two out runners at first and second. Ball one, no strikes. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Shoemaker at second. Gonzalez on at first with two down. Rip to right. Should be extra bases. Runner around third. One runs in. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score as well. It's 2-1. One of the hardest things to do in the game to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. Here's Orlando Arcia. Grounded out his first time up. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Wow, nice play. Fires to first. It's there, and that's a great play. So remaining in the game defensively, Eddie Rosario. Really the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Also into the ball game, Sean Murphy. He takes over behind the plate. That smash towards center. And a lunging grab. And here's the first baseman, Gaynor Diaz. The first baseman. There's a strike. Yeah. 
And that's outside. One ball, one strike. Here comes a pitch. They say you win. One and two. Count. The next offering misses. And it's two and two. Swing and a ball popped up. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at-bats. That pitch looked good, but yeah. you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield. Ball, Next offering ball. is down low. And one and one. And there's a strike on the outside corner. One and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a one two. Just oh. off the outside edge. Out to short. Tosses across the first. Play made. That ends the end. Back here in Houston. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Albies in his eighth season, a member of the 1,000 hit club. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and it's one and one. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. The one two. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Tucker calls it in, and there's one away. Austin Riley now at the plate. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, Riley, a former All-Star, 26 years old, and he's put together some good swings lately with five home runs in his last 10 games. One run game, one out, one on. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And a swing and a miss. Two away. And now Matt Olson up to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. 1-0. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Kicks and fires. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back. Gone! The Rockets one to right, his second home run of the series, and they add a couple more. It's 4 1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a new pitcher out here, Ryan Abreu. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And now, Marcelo Zuna. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball, the opposite field, up into the stands. In the dirt. Lee whips it to first. That's the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 4-1. This is the World Series on the show.
Welcome back. Bottom of the six. And stepping in for the Astros, Luis Guillorme. Yeah. That catches the outside corner. 0-1. Bounce to the left side. One up, one down. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Alvarez, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Can't glove it cleanly, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brian Reynolds. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Reynolds goes 6 feet, 3 inches, 205 pounds, and he was a second-round pick back in 2016. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And, and here it comes. Can't field it cleanly. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw to second. Out there. And that. Blake Taylor on the pitch here. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And he deals. Sean Murphy now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Next one misses, and the count even one and one. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The one one is fouled off. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And now the lefty gets him to chase after that one. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. To the right side, Altuve throws to first, and two away to start the seven. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. There's the swing and a miss. That one to first. He takes it on his own, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Swing and a miss. Strike one. A little bit low. Well, these Astros, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a blow. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far. That's something they should feel very good about. Now, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Gonzalez tracks it down for the out. Speaking of those line drives, you can't get too discouraged when they don't drop in for you. It's important to remember that you pretty much did everything right, and that's just baseball sometimes. Moncada in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Calls it in, two away. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Lee in the box now. No balls and a strike. Strike two. 
Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And he grounds one to the right side. Albies over to first in time. Out with room to... Seth Martinez taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Arcia got to play for the third time as he comes up empty there. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. The pitch. Cuts on it, misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Fought off foul. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. In the dirt. Lee whips it to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Michael Harris. In the air, out to center. Reynolds pulls it in on the run. Bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for the Astros, Yaner Diaz. And there's the strike. Gonna count one and two. One, two. Lifted in the air, right center field. Albies under it, and out number one on the grab. Well, that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call yeah. me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. The 0-1 is that outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Yeah. That clips the corner. The wind of the pitch. That misses. No, that misses. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The next pitch misses, and it's a full count. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. On the ground, out to short. Throw on to Olsen. Two up, two down. No batter, no batter. So two down now. And here is Luis Guillorme. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Bounced out to short. Slings to first. And that is the inning. One. Pitching change here. Phil Maton. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And a pitch. Here's a tapper towards short. Guillaume whips it to first on the run. Now one gone in the ninth. Matt Olson up to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Two out. Space is empty. Now it's the DH. Marcelo Zuna. And takes low for ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Rafael Montero. The veteran right-hander appears to be loosening up. Popped up. Guillaume makes the catch, and that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left.
Heart of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Braves 4 and the Astros 1. Bottom nine, now it's Jordan Alvarez. On the ground right side, boots it. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Reynolds, batting with one down, takes a strike. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. Well, just very efficient out there on the mound. I mean, just a great outing. He's just now getting to 100 pitches. Next pitch off the play, and it's one and two. Out to short, Arcia. Rolls across the diamond, and they're down to their last out. Tucker in now, takes ball one off the plate. Hit on the ground to the right side. All these, and that's it. They've won the World Series. Congratulations to the World Series champions. Incredibly special team. So proud of these guys. I know the fans back in their hometown. Everybody going nuts right now. It's going to be such an amazing reception when these guys return home. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game. And now let's go down on the field where they're set to present the commissioner's trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Chambi. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show.